part 16. We are going to continue with transformation geometry and we are going to focus on enlargement. You will find this on page 249 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Enlargement. An enlargement changes a figure into one with the same shape but a different size. So basically, if you look at this original figure, if I enlarge it with a scale factor of 2, it will become this. If I enlarge this with a scale factor of 3, it will become this. Can you see that the shape is still the same? Okay. Draw the enlargement of plane figures. Enlarge the figures by the scale factor given from the center of enlargement O. So, from the center to a point, count the horizontal movement, the horizontal movement, and then count the vertical movement. Okay. So, if you look at this first example, this one, okay, I'm just going to show you. This was the original figure, and this was the center. Okay, so let's start. Count from the center to the vertex A, count the horizontal as well as the vertical movement. So it's 2, 2. Can you see? 2, 2. So I multiply it by 2, multiply by 2, and I will get 4, 4. So start again at this point and count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then make a point and call it A dash. Now, do the same to B. This is B. So count again, count. So from the center, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and now I must double it. So I multiply 2, multiply 2, and I get 4 and 10. Remember, you must always start counting from the center. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I just make my dot. Okay. And then the next one, I'm just going to go thoroughly through this one. Okay. So it's to C. Can you see it? So count the horizontal. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2. So it's 4 and 2. Then I multiply by 2, and I get 8 and 4. So from the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, and this is my point. And then as soon as I have all my points, I can just draw my new figure, the image. Okay. If I look at this one, now in this one, the center is exactly there in the middle. Can you see? Now, if you look towards the first point, this the first point. Okay. Or you could have taken A. Um, let's rather go to A. Let's start with A. So if you count from there, now it's a bit more difficult to count, but just focus there and there. So if I'm going to count to A, it's 1 and 1. So if I double it or triple it, then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And this is A dash. Okay. Can you see that if the center is in the middle of the figure, then the new figure will also be around it. So this original figure will be included in the new figure. Okay. Now, I want you to check this center. Now, this center is there. Okay, this is the original figure, A, B, C. Can you see that? Okay. So, the center is one of the vertices. Can you see? It's also the vertice A, but it's also the center. Now, if it's like this, then this first point will stay there. So, A dash will also be that red point. Okay. Then I do it to B. So, scale for factor is 2. So, it's 4. And if I double it, 8. Okay. And I do the same. So, this will be 1, 2, okay, let's just see, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be 4 and 8. Okay. And then I'm going to take the figure and I'm just going to connect it from this to this. Can you again see the old figure is included in the new figure? Okay. I want you to do try now 19 um, just as a good start. Um, I want you to do number A, and then th number B, and then this is actually a nice one, but you can also do number D. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video.
Okay, let's start. Now I'm going to do this on the figure, so I'm going to just enlarge everything a little bit. Okay, so if I start here, I say copy and enlarge the figures by the scale factor given from the center of enlargement O. So this O and this the figure. So if I look at this figure, then I'm just going to do it like this. One, two, three. Uh, can you see? Three and two. So if I, okay, can I just show you the center? Oh, let's just uh, put it a little bit up. And then I'm going to still put it up. And then this near one, um, I'm just going to do this again. So then if I look at this one, and I'm just going to show you now. Um, okay, I'm, I think I'm going to write it with the T just to help you, especially with the first one. Okay, so if this is my T, so this is one, two, three, and my vertical is two. The scale factor is two, so I times two, and I times two, so it's going to be six and four. So it means vertical six. Uh, um, oh, you know, sorry, horizontal six. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see? And then four. One, two, three, and there is my point. Okay, just a little bit higher. And then if I look at the new one, um, the next one, so if I look at this point, now in this one it's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So let's, uh, so remember it's one, two, three, and then this one was four. And if I double it, scale factor two, then I will get six and eight. So count again from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think it's just red. We're just going to make it green. Okay, and then the next one, um, if I look at the next one, um, I'm just going to clean this to make space. Um, so if I look at the next one, work again with your T. So this is the next point. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and two. So five and two. So if I double it, I will get ten and four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I, as you can see, you can even imagine that if we do this one, I'm going to do it without. So it's one, two, three, four, f five, um, and then it's just four. So it's just going to be a five and a four, and if I multiply, it's going to just be ten, and it's going to be an eight there, and then it's going to end up there. And if I draw my lines... Okay, and this is my enlargement. If I look at number B, this is a scale factor of 3. Now remember this point, can I just show you? Uh, this is the center now. Okay, let's just make it blue, just total different color. But the figure, can you see? Can I just show you the figure? Um, what will we make the figure? Um, now we, we're busy with green. So okay, let's do the original one red. Can you see? It's actually, now let's redo it. Um, let's draw it. Okay, and now if I count it from that point, so now it's, it's there's the figure. Okay, so okay, this one is easy, so it's just one, two, three, and three times three will be four, five, six, seven, eight, and that will be nine, okay? And then the same here, this is 2 and 2, it's 6. So it's 2, 4, 6. Can you see it? It's going to be there. And then this one will be 2 and 3, so it will be 6, and it will be 9, and it's going to be there. And then if I draw the lines, and can you see? Because, can you remember what I said previously? If the center is one of the vertices, then this new figure will include the old figure. Okay, 
And then I asked you to do number D. Okay, let's just look at number D again. Remember, this is the center. Okay, and there is the figure. Can you see all around? So let's do this again. Uh, take one, it's just two. So it's one, and if I double, then it's two. And if it's one, then it's two. And then it's one, one, and then it's two, two. And then it is two, and what will it be? Four. And then it is, um, let's just see, one, one, so two, two. Okay, and let's see, okay, it's, it's always good, can I just show you, to mark the points, because otherwise you can get a little bit confused what points you already did. Okay, and then this one, um, let's just take to this point. So it's one, and if we double, then it's two. But it there, actually. And then if I go to this one, it's two, so it will be four. And if I go to this one, now it's going to be two and one, so it's going to be four and two. So if I'm going to just, let's just write that, let's just mark that. I don't think it's straight. And then it's going here. And then it's going here. And then it's going here. Now let's just make it make an eye. And then it's going here. Okay. And then it's going up. And it's going there. And then the last one will just go there. Okay. And can you see again? Because the center is inside the figure, it's like this new figure include the old figure.